So here we have two wax canvas jackets, one from Rogue Territory and one from Flint and Tinder. They're both very popular at the minute. You've probably seen them on the big screen and you've probably seen a lot of videos on YouTube about them. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I think of each of them. And if you're looking to buy them, which one you should get. <music> As I said in the beginning, two wax canvas jackets. Now this channel and this video is not about going through the fabrics, going through all the particulars about them because you know there's better channels out there that do all of that. So you can go and look at those. This is really about how does it fit? Now these are the two jackets that really stand out for me. I know there is a million wax canvas jackets, especially in the US where you guys get a lot more stuff than we have available to us here. So these are the two that stand out to me and I think probably are the most popular given one of them was in the James Bond film and one of them was in the recent Last of Us film. Now the other reason why I decided to do these two jackets is they're both American made, they're both wax canvas. Now they are very similar but again I know they are not the same, one is lined, one isn't so for all the people that are going to go at me in the comments I understand they're not the same, they're di very different jackets to, to uh, compare but I've chosen the popularity route uh, that's why I'm featuring these two jackets because if you're out there looking for a wax canvas jacket These two are probably the ones that are going to show up more often than not now just quickly about the particulars I said I wouldn't do that but just to give you some context the one from Rogue Territory now This is unlined so it's just straight wax canvas It is a 10 ounce wax canvas and the one from uh, Flint and Tinder is a 7 ounce wax canvas with a polyester lining so it's like a blanket lining but it's it's kind of polyester. So let's start with the fit and the sizing. And I wanna say that I don't work in a, a factory. I'm not in doing any hard labor. So the sizing and the fit for me is very much just for a fashion sense. I don't uh, buy these jackets for mobility or movement. So I'm taking usually my true to size. Uh, we'll come onto that in a minute. So let's start with Rogue Territory. Now this jacket is You've seen it in the Bond movie in, I think, 2020, uh, No Time to Die, and it's very popular from then. Uh, it was uh, picked up by the production team that saw it in Riveton Hyde's shop in London. So it's got that fame. It was on the screen for only a couple of seconds, but it's got that fame from the movie. Now, it is a very, very cool jacket. Uh, it is a very trim jacket. It's very unforgiving. So if you are someone that wants to uh, kind of hide and not, <laughs> not show off your physique, this jacket is... Probably not the jacket for you. It is very slim, it's very trim, uh, and you may have to go up a size or even more if you wanted to uh, layer. So I'm a, I'm usually a large, and I've taken a large in this as well, and I can't layer under this uh, at all. It, it would be very tight. Um, and that is without the buttons done up. I've not really tried doing the buttons up at all. Now let's come on to Flint and Tinder with the sizing. Now this one's an interesting one. This one I've only had recently, and you may see my other videos where I had a black one that was in a large, which is my true to size and that is drowning me. So I had to go down a size and I finally got my hands on a medium. And I will say the sizing for either Flint and Tinder or maybe it's just American sizing, I don't know. Uh, I still think it's quite big. It's the cut of it. Uh, so I'll say the Flint and Tinder is very much forgiving. It's longer in the body as well. Uh, you can definitely layer on it. I have seen other people say, Take your true to size, but I would be very wary of that, honestly. For me, it looks good. You'll see here that it, it looks good on me, but the feeling of it is very loose, very baggy, uh, definitely when compared to the Rogue Territory. So take that into consideration. Make sure you do check the measurements with the, the, the sizing. And as I, again, as I said, if you're looking for something that, want, that you want to be trim, want to be looking good in a white t-shirt in summer and that's it, then maybe take your true to size Rogue Territory. If you want something a bit more functional, a bit more layerable than maybe the Flint and Tinder. But again, this is all how I am seeing it. You can be totally different. I will caveat that. So make sure you check your measurements. Well, let's talk about how I feel about each jacket. So this is kind of the sentiment or how each jacket makes me feel, I guess. And this is very particular to me because it's where I live, the climate. I'm in the UK. It's always raining. It's always gray. It's always cold. So this may be very different for you if you're in California or if you're in Australia where it's hot and humid and all that kind of stuff. So for me, let's start with the Rogue Territory. Now this is an unlined 10 ounce wax canvas and it's a great jacket, but I find I don't have many times where I'm able to wear it because in the UK, if you, if it's 
all year round it's rubbish and in the odd occasion we get a heat wave it's too hot to wear anything so and i'm one of those people that if it's a if it's hot if it's above 30 degrees celsius i'm not going to be wearing a jacket i just i am not so it it feels cold to your body when you first put it on because it has no lining and it's wax canvas after a while that wax fades so you, you don't get that but it with, with the wax on it it's not really breathable as well uh, and then in, in the colder months, in even now in, in spring, it's too cold for me to wear out without anything on. And the fact that I can't layer it as well, unless I went up a size, uh, means that I, I just, I, go, I look for another jacket. I look for some other option than putting that on. But in some days in early summer, when I'm, you know, it's nice and you want to go out, it's a white t-shirt, that jacket, it's there to have. Now it's an expensive option just to have for a couple of days a year. So the jury's still out on that one for me. Now, if I'm talking about the Flint and Tinder, much more functional for me. Now that is a lines, polyester line, so it's got a bit more warmth, it's seven ounce, so that sounds like it's thinner, but because of the lining, it does feel a little bit much the same kind of uh, weight to it the, as the Rogue Territory. And because it's seven ounce, it's a thinner, and until you get one in the hand, you, you, you won't really know what I'm talking about. But the Rogue Territory feels very rigid, very stiff, and it still is. And you can't wash it, so it's not. I, I don't find it getting any better. Uh, but the Flint and Tinder is super soft, super supple, straight out of the box. So it's a more comfortable jacket, without a doubt. The Flint and Tinder jacket is definitely more comfortable, straight out of the box. And for you guys out there that have the Rogue Territory, you may know what I'm talking about. The rigidity, the the stiffness of it makes it sometimes really difficult to get your hands in the in the hand warmer pockets. I don't know about you, but it is sometimes very difficult to get organized if that makes sense it also only has one pocket on the outside i mean they both only have one pocket on the outside which is your left chest breast pocket uh, but i like the flap on the flint and tinder i like to put my keys in there and know it's secure with the button uh, it's, it's just something i like whereas the rogue territory just has the little slit uh, and i can put stuff in there but again it's not very big they both have an internal pocket for your phone uh, so they're both equal there but i think the flint and tinder pockets the hand warmer pockets are a bit uh, more easy to access for me. Let's talk pricing. Now, the Rogue Territory is probably the most expensive uh, amongst other wax canvas jackets as well. That comes in at, I think, $325, which is quite pricey for that jacket. Uh, but it's still, as I said, a great jacket. Might fit your climate better than it fits mine. The Flint Tinder Wax Trucker jacket is 298 I believe, which is, I think, still, it's pretty similar, to be honest, but you're still getting a lining. Uh, and for me, it's a bit more functional in these kind of months. So yeah, make what you will of that. I haven't got any others to compare it to. They're the only two wax canvas jackets that I have, but I think they're very much on par with the pricing. Construction wise, I think the Rogue Territory comes across as a more of a sturdier jacket. Uh, they're both American made though. So I think they're both gonna be equally amazing, but just that Rogue Territory feels stiff, feels durable. Uh, the, the hardware as well for me feels a little bit better. And if you're the kind of person that's gonna be working outdoors, working, uh, lifting things, moving things around, you may not want that lining, right? And you might want a durable jacket uh, that is just a kind of like a, a shell. And that's exactly what the Rogue Territory one is. They're both gonna patina amazingly though. I, or my Rogue Territory one, my Rogue Territory one is already starting to get, well, I say it is, but it, it, just on here, I use this pocket quite a lot. It's starting to get a bit browner here and a bit browner around the edges here. Uh, and that's just from daily use. The wax is getting a bit dirty as well. Now, keep in mind as well that the wax does wear off, but you can re-wax. Now, re-waxing a jacket is not something I've done. It's something that is on my list. I've got the tin of wax. You can buy different brands of wax to re-wax jackets. Uh, but by all reports and what I've seen online from other YouTubers doing it, it looks like a pain in, yeah, you know, it's, it looks like a right, you know, no, I, I'm, I'm gonna hold off doing that. But you can do it with your jacket if you want to. Uh, so don't don't think that when the, the wax wears off, that's it, you have to get another one, you can re-wax it. Availability wise, they both come in and out of stock. As I said, one was from James Bond, one was from the Last of Us TV series that's just finished. Uh, so they're always coming in and out of stock. So make sure you check your uh, the websites that are relevant for you. Uh, I'll put some links down below if you wanna uh, get that, but they're always in and out of stock. So they're, they're readily available now because they're so popular. They both come in a range of different kind of colors, but the ones I've shown today, uh, field tan-ish ones uh, are, the, are the most popular. I think just on the functionality as well with the 
the Flint and Tinder one. You also have your cinch tabs on the side that you can see there, uh, where you don't have that on the Rogue Territory. So basically when you get your Rogue Territory, that size is your size, whereas the Flint and Tinder, at least you can bring it in a little bit to bring that waist down. Like That's not gonna change the size that much. It's just gonna bring the waist in a little bit tighter. And that is all. The other thing that I wanna call out, and uh, it, it's always in my mind when I'm thinking about Rogue Territory, it doesn't really annoy me, but I know there'll be probably people out there that it will annoy. Um, and it's Rogue Territory's branding. We all know about it. It's that little, what is it, faux buttonhole or whatever it is there. Uh, they have it on all their garments, pretty much. Uh, it's, it designates us that's Rogue Territory. Now, most people that won't make sense, uh, um, won't bother them rather. Uh, but a lot of people, especially if you have OCD, and there are people out there, uh, <laughs> That would really, really annoy some people. And other people have come up and said, oh, you missed a button or so on and so forth. I just had to call it out. Right, that's it, guys. I hope I've given you some food for thought. So that really is the reason why I'm doing this video. And, you know, I like to do these kind of videos is to give you, is to give you really my opinion for people out there that are wanting to make a purchase one of these things. The whole premise of this channel was to do that because these things are expensive. You can see images on Instagram, but that's not the same. You wanna hear firsthand how someone has worn it, what it's like, things to look out for that you know, won't necessarily see when you go into the shop, when you're blinded by the salespeople or blinded by the item. So that's just my thoughts. Really think about what you wanna use the jacket for if you're deciding on one of these two uh, because they are both very different jackets in that sense. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did enjoy that, give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps. It goes a long, long way. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, really love it. If you could stick around, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. You'll get notified if I put any more videos like this up. And let me know if there's any requests of stuff that you want to uh, have me look at as well. And I'll try and do my best. With all that being said, guys, have a great day and we'll see you next time.